Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us for another video today. In this video, you're going to see what it's like to be a marine biologist for the day. So in this video, you're going to join me, Dr. Andrea Guyon, Kira Long and Charles Hood, the owner of The Rib Logan, out in Penzance. And we're going to spend the whole day at sea looking for blue sharks so that we can take skin biopsies so that we can test their health and various other biomarkers. This is really cool first-hand experience and you can get a look into the life of a marine biologist. So without further ado, let's get on board this boat and find some blue sharks. Good morning. Oh, the light's gone off. And I don't have a light button. Uh, well, I'm going to meet Andrea now. <laughs> it's five o'clock in the morning. So we've arrived at Penzance and it's misty as hell. There's Andrea. Say hi, Andrea. Hi. And Kira. Hi. And we're, well, Charles has just pulled up and we're going to go out on his boat and we're going to go looking for blue sharks. Okay, so we're filming, so just introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your project. Yeah, so my name is Andrea Gaillon and uh, I started the UK Blue Shark project I think about four years ago. The idea behind it is to get a 360 degree picture of the health of the population of blue sharks in the North Atlantic. So to do that, uh, well in the past they used to sacrifice the animals for science so they used to fish the animals uh, or you have to collect the animals from the fish market which is something that I don't particularly enjoy so the alternative is to come out here in the middle of nowhere and try to collect a skin biopsy from uh, free swimming sharks so we are trying to attract the sharks towards the boat and when they are around here with a, um, with a sampling pole, we can try to collect our skin biopsy. Um, the skin biopsy is relatively small, it's about two centimeters, uh, so it's something like this, like half a pinky. And with that amount of tissue, we can get a lot of information about the sharks. Uh, we can do some genetics analysis, so we can see if there is only one population of blue sharks in the Atlantic or more sub populations. We can do a study of bioaccumulation of contaminants, so how many contaminants you find in the flesh of the shark. And also we can do some biomarkers analysis and that means we can assess the health of the individual. Um, 
Ideally, if we have enough tissue, we can also do some stable isotope analysis, and that tells us on what trophic levels the sharks are feeding on. So ideally, if we manage to define different subpopulations of sharks in the Atlantic, we can see if they all feed on the same trophic level or not. Um, a fundamental part of the project is to share the experience with volunteers, students and anyone who's passionate about the environment because I think that spending a day out at sea can really boost the passion of the future generation of conservationists. So I'm always keen to share this experience with a lot of people. So while we're waiting for sharks to come, we just got the hydrophone out because some dolphins just passed through. So we're just listening to some dolphins whistling on the hydrophone. So we've been waiting a little while and now we've got two blue sharks in the water, but they're pretty hefty ones. They're pretty big. And we're managing to get some nice underwater footage of them. We're just trying to draw them in close enough so that we can take the tissue samples. We've currently got three sharks circling the boat and we've managed to get a bit of tissue off one of them, which is good. But the other two are quite small and zippy, so they're proving very hard to target.
How do you feel about seeing your first sharks in the wild? Super cool. <laughs> So that's it, that's the day in the life of a marine biologist. I really hope that you guys found this video entertaining and fun and inf informational, if anything else, informative. Thank you so much for watching. We saw some amazing wildlife, bluefin tuna, bottlenose dolphin, common dolphins, and of course, the magnificent blue shark. We had a great day collecting data, and all in all, it was a really successful trip. I hope you enjoyed this video, so if you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up because that really helps the video spread far and wide and um, make sure you share it with any future marine biologists and we'll see you in the next video.